due to the severe weather last week, you're getting a view of my virtual classroom instead of my amazing face. I know you're so sad, right? So this week we're still working on self-portraits. This week we're looking at the artist Rory Lichtenstein. So make sure that when you go into Seesaw and look at my virtual classroom that you also click on the picture of Wonder Woman to watch the video on Rory Lichtenstein before you watch this assignment. Now continue watching this video to learn what to do. So first things first, I would like you to take a silly selfie. Make sure you're showing lots of expression. Make sure you're having fun with it. As long as it's school appropriate and it's mainly of your face, you can do basically anything. Pretend you're a comic book hero or a comic book villain like I am. Whatever it is or whatever position you choose, make sure you are showing your personality and it is up close of your face. If you watch the other video in my virtual classroom of Rory Lichtenstein, then you know he has a great sense of humor and we're going to play into that this week. Now after you have your selfie, we're going to go into Sketches School and open up a new page. Here you also get a quick glimpse of my sketchbook and you can see I'm using the same template we were doing last week to practice drawing other people. In order to bring in your selfie, click on the three little dots, the box with the arrow pointing in, photo, and then go ahead and choose your selfie. Don't forget you have this little bar at the bottom where you can slide to make your picture more transparent if you would like. I'm only going to make mine slightly transparent so it's easier to see my black ink. And when you're done, hit the check mark. So now you are using the second pen tool on the medium size and we're going to choose black ink. Now as we go through this drawing, you may want to change from medium size to small size, but the large is always going to be too big. And just like in the past, I'm drawing over top of my picture and taking it away to make sure that if I hit the eyeball and take my picture away, then my drawing is still there. Remember, we don't want to get halfway into our drawing or almost finished and then not be able to take away our picture. So that's why we're testing this first. So a couple of my fifth graders showed me that you could open, actually open up this video, then go into Sketches School, and then you have this video as a mini player on the side. So you can draw along with me and work on the project and pause the video when you need to pause it and rewind it or replay parts that you need to do that. Don't go through and watch this video all in one and then decide you're going to start and then forget what the first step is. Go back, look, skip to the steps you need. All I've done so far is outline the bottom half of my face. I did the ears and below, basically the cheeks and chin line. Now if you have teeth in your selfie, don't outline all of your teeth individually. You want to uh, pretend they're like all one object or all one thing and so I'm outlining the bottom of my teeth and the top of my teeth but I am not going to draw all the little lines in between. This will draw way too much attention to your teeth and we don't want that. Now I'm going in and outlining my lips but I'm not going to outline them all the way because you can't really see my lips meet at the corner. You only see where there's more shadow and you can always make your lines a little bit thicker where there should be more shadow. So as I'm drawing this, notice that I keep hitting my eyeball in the top right corner to take away my picture so I can just look at my drawing. I'm looking for two things. A, does it look like me? And B, can you read my expression? But I want to show both of these things with as little detail as possible. If you watch the other video like you were supposed to, you'll notice that Roy Lichtenstein used very little detail. In fact, in that one picture of the nose they spotlighted, there was only two little lines for the nose and that was it. So we're going to follow suit and do as little detail as possible and I'm only outlining the bottom part of my nose and I'm not going to outline all the little lines I see. I don't want to make my nostrils too thick and too dark, just little lines. Notice I left the bridge of my nose alone. I'm not drawing straight lines up. However, I might try to add a little bit of an expression line here on the side of the nose because my expression is still a little hard to read when I take away the eyeball. And so I want to really show that my face is being scrunched up and I'm sky, uh, scowling. So now we're going to move to the eyes. And before, when you do this, make sure you're zooming in. Make sure you zoom in on all parts of your picture when you're tracing them. So when you're moving onto your eyes, you just want to draw dark lines on your lash lines and your eye crease. Don't hurry and just draw a football shape around your eye. Or for some reason, I also see this too where kids just draw a circle around their eye. I'm not sure what that's about. Make sure you actually follow your lines, including your uh, eyelid crease. 
Here I also outlined my iris and filled in my pupil. So I noticed when I was trying to draw my eyelid crease that the smallest size I still think is too large. And so if you want to taper the ends of your lines or make the ends of your lines smaller, just go back in with the eraser and erase the top half of your line. If you would like to add lashes to your eyes, you can. However, don't do the little spider legs that we talked about. Stay away from those. Instead, uh, pretend you're drawing on eyeliner and those will look better for lashes. You just want to darken up that lash line. So I'm going to fast forward through the rest of my drawing because I think you get the gist now and I don't want you to have to wait on me to finish. So all I'm going to do left is go back in and add in some lines to help show my expression. So I want to show that my nose is being scrunched up. I want to see where my brow line is and then my eyes are pulling upwards. And yes, I am drawing in eyebrows even though I don't have any because it does help with the expression. So now I'm working on my hair. One big piece of advice, one pro tip for you, is not to draw in every little strand of hair. You just want to show the overall shape of your hair, and you can add in one or two extra lines to show the direction that your hair is flowing in, but that's it. Less detail is better. I'm also going to outline my shoulders and neck here because they are visible, and I don't want it to look like I just have a floating head. So in order to finish up the line work here, I'm going to go back to my medium size ink or my medium size brush. I ended up using the smallest brush for most of my details, but I want to go back in with that medium size and distinguish some details from the other where it's hard to read. For example, I want to show the difference between my hair in my shirt and my face in my hair. So I'm going to make those areas just a little bit thicker. This dark, heavy outline is what's going to make your self-portrait look more like Roy Lichtenstein's work or more like a comic book character. Now before I use the paint roller tool to color in my work, we need to give our picture an outline or a border so we can close in these shapes. I'm using the second pen tool on medium size and I'm using the ruler to make, help me make a straight line. Make sure that you use zero degrees and 90 degrees so that your rulers are perpendicular to one another and you have sharp right corners. I'm also gonna go back and extend all these little lines that are almost touching my border to make sure they actually touch my border. So when I finish, I'm going to use the paint roller tool on the bottom square or the most amount of ink. And I'm going to choose some bright colors. Rory Lichtenstein actually really like primary colors, so I'm going to kind of stick with that theme. And I'm also saving my image here in case I mess up. And I'm just going to tap inside these shapes to color in my picture. So I'm going yellow for skin and blue for my shirt. I told you I was sticking with the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. But I am going to make sure that my teeth and the whites of my eyes stay white. Now you can choose any colors. If you need help choosing colors, go back and look at your color theory project and look at those color palettes. When you are finished, save it and turn it into Seesaw. Remember, if you need any help with this project, please email me or if you have any questions about any other projects.